Hey, I'm Glenn. Welcome to Art490, Artists' Careers, Portfolios, and Websites. Going to have a really big, exciting semester with a lot to accomplish. I don't know your situation. Obviously, we haven't met yet, but if you're like many of your classmates, this might be your last semester at the beach. Um, to be honest, this class might have been better your first semester uh, so that you would have the rest of your time to make contacts, build your portfolio, and so on, but here we are. Uh, if you are like many of your classmates, this might be your last semester, and it also might be your only professional practices class during your time at the beach. So we do have a lot to accomplish. Um, it can be intimidating. Again, I don't know your situation, but many of us do have imposter complex. Putting that big title artist over our head is, is, is a lot. Um, we're going to try to go through it systematically. Week one, our first mission is to go grab a website, to go to any platform you want to use. I've got a list on, on our website. Uh, most people choose Squarespace, Wix, WordPress, something like that, but any platform you want to use. So week one is to grab a website. I'm asking you not to use a generic domain name like glenzookman.wix.com. I'm asking you to go ahead and pay for your own professional domain name, so, so glenzookman.com. It doesn't have to be your name, but for most people, your name is the best choice. The clever things uh, and your internet handle, over time, for most people, that's not the best. Just glenzookman.com is, is best for most people, but, it's, but like everything else, it's your choice. That's my suggestion, you, you do you. Um, so week one, we're gonna grab that domain name and that website, that Wix, Squarespace, WordPress, et cetera. Um, and then each week, we're gonna be building. Um, week two, we're gonna pick a career focus, and then as we go from there, uh, in many cases, if you've tried a lot of different things during your time in the School of Art, um, you may have all kinds of work in different areas, but you may not have a really solid focused portfolio that's all about animation or illustration or the ceramics work that you want to show in galleries or graphic design or user interface design, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, it's very common to have a lot of different work, but not the focused work that you're going to need to build a graphic design career, a gallery career, an animation career, et cetera, an art education career, an art history career, whatever your goal might be. Um, so half the time, every other week, we're going to be making new work that's focused on our career goals, and then the in-between weeks, we'll be writing about ourselves, writing about our work, and so on. Um, so that's our mission. Um, the class is mostly asynchronous. It's mostly on your own time. Uh, we have just a 45-minute-a-week Zoom meetup, which is you know, not really the time that you're doing the work. It's just a time to check in. I will try to make either a video uh, and or uh, a Canvas announcement each week talking about what we're doing that week so that we don't have to use our short 45 minutes just for me to go over housekeeping. Uh, we'll use that time to ask any questions you might have, but then to share your own work, to share our career goals, the new work we're making, artist statements, et cetera. So time for you to interact with each other. Again, you might be one of our handful of, of extroverted, confident, really clear on my career goal people in the class, but the majority of your classmates are not going to be that. The majority of us are, you know, an awful lot of artists are introverts, and getting out into the world and talking to strangers is not our idea of fun, although I'm going to push you to do that because it's essential. Um, having a clear career goal, building a portfolio that points directly to that career goal. You know, it's, you may have made some cool jewelry in, in metals class, but unless jewelry artist is your career goal, that work isn't too helpful for, you know, an animation career, a ceramics uh, gallery career, uh, and so on. So we want to fill out portfolios, career plans, um, and that's what we're going to mostly be doing this semester, and I'm going to push you to go s visit the, the real world a couple times. Um, Every week would be great, but I'll only, I'll only try to push you to do it two times. I'm well aware that for most students in the class, getting off campus and saying hello to strangers and, and 
dealing with career situations is, is, is not your idea of fun and doesn't fit with your busy schedule, but it's so important. Networking is everything. A great portfolio that nobody sees is not a career. Uh, I was um, an assistant art director at NBC once upon a time. Somebody there told me, it's great to know people because they tell you things, somebody told me, oh, there's an opening uh, for art director uh, over on the CBS soap opera Capital. I went over, I interviewed, I got hired. Um, when you're an art director working on a soap opera or a sitcom or those kind of things, you often get thrown little extra credit work, which is, you know, kind of easy, easy gigs that get you extra days of pay. One year I was asked to art direct the Rose Parade, which means you show up and install a huge broadcast booth uh, on the bleachers high above Colorado Boulevard and then a tiny little street level one. So you come every morning and you have a meeting and then we do this whole installation thing. About a week before the Rose Parade, we're at this early morning meeting and somebody shows up and says, uh, I think it's the CBS production manager, says, oh, um, those profanity, 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 NBC guys bolted a microphone onto the railing right in front of our street level camera position. So we're gonna to talk to the Tournament of Roses officials and we're gonna make them make NBC move that microphone. So this same conversation happens every single morning for the next week. Profanity, 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 make the Tournament of Roses officials make NBC move their microphone. Day after day, nothing happens. It's now New Year's Eve. The broadcast is tomorrow morning and still nothing's happened. So finally I say, um, I know the NBC guys, right? Because I had just worked there previously. Um, do you want me to go talk to them? So they say, yeah, go, go do that. So I walk a quarter block up Orange Grove Boulevard, a half a block down Colorado to the Lions Club building, which NBC has rented for their broadcast headquarters. I walk in the building, see a bunch of familiar faces. Hey, how's it going? What's going on? Haven't seen you around for a while. Oh yeah, I got hired on a soap opera over at CBS. Oh wow, that's awesome. Congratulations. What's it like over at CBS? Blah, 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 blah. We talk for 10 minutes and then eventually I say, hey, um, you guys have a microphone on the rail over on Orange Grove and it's right in front of a CBS camera. Is, is there any way you could move that over a couple feet? Oh yeah, no problem. So how do you like it over at CBS? Blah, 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 blah. Talk for another 10 minutes. I go back. By the time I get back, the microphone has already moved. So a week of profanity and screaming at the turn of the roses officials, nothing. Walk a half a block and talk to some people that you've previously met. Oh yeah, no problem. Okay, so that was a story not about getting hired, because I already was hired, but I just cannot emphasize enough that going to art galleries, going to art director meetings, going to illustration society meetings, going to animation events, hanging out at all kinds of art galleries, these off-campus networking experiences are everything. I really encourage you to, to do as much as you're able. It's how you're gonna build your career. It's how you're gonna build your professional network. Anyway, more on all that later. I'm really excited to meet you next week and see what your interests are and, and how I can help. I'm happy to chat on email anytime. We have two official one-to-one -one Zoom meetups and I'm happy to hop on Zoom anytime and chat about anything. If there's something you wanna know how to do or if you're just feeling insecure or nervous, holding that inside is tough. Chatting about it tends to make things a lot less intimidating and more doable, so don't be afraid to ask me to, for a one-to-one -one meetup. In, in my experience, I've learned that Zoom is not that great a tool for a whole class to interact. It's, you know, it's not as exciting as face-to-face, -face. but Zoom, it turns out, is a really awesome one-to-one -one career brainstorming tool, a really great way for me to give you whatever advice and help I can to thinking through your career goals, building your portfolio, reaching out to the world, and not letting all of this time that you're spending at Long Beach State end up in a, a business career or some other non-art career. If you want a different career, that's fine too. We can help with that. But, but if you're looking for an arts career, let's make that happen. I am absolutely confident it's possible. I think you can do it. So let's have a really ambitious semester and get started on that career. Good luck, see you next week.